Okay, here's a short tutorial about how you solve system of equations using the numerical method. The numerical method consists in creating the table of values for each equation. And once you create the table of values of each equation, you're going to identify uh, for which x value you have the same y value. Okay, so for example, if I give you the system of equation y equal 3x three, plus 1 and y equal 2x, I'm going to create a table of values like I did here. Okay, now usually the hardest part of creating the table of values is filling it in because you have to replace the x with each uh, value you have assigned here for x. Now I'm going to give you a tool that will help you create the table of values really quick okay and it's using the online graphing calculator okay online graphing calculator I'm gonna post the link in the discussion post so you can uh, click on that calculator and use it now in this calculator you are allowed to type four equations where the equation is in the form y equal mx plus b okay so for uh, the first equation is y equal 3x plus 1 when I go to the calculator I'm not gonna type y equal because it's already given to us what you're gonna type is whatever is after the equal sign in this case 3x plus 1 you can see that when I'm, I'm in this first box the first equation called y1 the box is highlighted in yellow and when it's highlighted in yellow on the bottom right corner of the calculator you see the table of values of that um, equation see when the x is negative 5 the y is negative 14 how the calculator got negative 14 because they replaced the x here with negative 5 and negative 5 times 3 is negative 15 and negative 15 plus 1 is negative 14 okay and that's how they got each of these y values from for each of these x values now what I want you to do is in your table you're gonna use these x values okay and these y values so let me go back to my discussion post and here's the table see here's the x values negative 5 negative 4 negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 and so forth and now for the first equation y equal 3x plus 1 I'm gonna put the y values that I got and you can see I got negative 14 negative 11 negative 8 and so forth so that's what I'm gonna put here negative 14 uh, negative what was the other one negative 11 okay negative 11 negative 8 okay negative 8 and go here negative 8 negative 5 negative 2 um, let me see what was the other one 1 4 okay 1 4 uh, 7 and 10 okay 7 and 10 now let's do the same thing. Let me okay. Let me make this a little bit smaller here. Uh, small. Okay, still doesn't fit. Well, I'm gonna make it small. Doesn't fit. But here's the equation for y equal 2x. Now let's go to the calculator, and you can see that on y2 I'm gonna type 2x. I already did. You can see the box is highlighted, and when the box is highlighted, I can look at the table of values, and you can see that for the same x values, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, and so forth, I got these y values. How do the calculator got negative 10? Because they replaced this x with negative 5, and negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. That's what they put there and that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna take all these y values I don't need to type the x values because I already have it okay I'm gonna type the y values on in my table you can see see the x values they were the same for the first equation and I'm gonna use these same x values for the second equation here I'm gonna have negative 10 negative 8 negative 6 negative 4 uh, negative 2 0 uh, 2 four and six let's just verify yeah okay so now we can go back here and now looking at the table for which x value okay so for which x value you have the same y value so you look here the this y value for the first equation 
is the same as this y value of the second equation. So they have in common negative 2 for which x? For negative 1. So the solution will be when the x is negative 1, the y value will be negative 2. And this is what we call solving the system the num using the numerical method. Look, for, look in the table for the y value that is the same and identify the x value that has the same y values. Okay, and that's how you do the numerical method. I hope this helps.